Uh, I studied uh, International Studies, Bachelor of International Studies at RMIT. It laid a foundation for the way in which I would sort of perceive the world and the way in which I would actually take my career forward. Um, what you do after that is always up to you. And so after my time at RMIT, I obviously stepped out into the real world through the door um, and I had an amazing career path after that. But I think my time at RMIT was really about setting a foundation for um, the way in which I look at the world and the opportunities that um, were out there for me as long as I went and got them. In 2005, I went to India. Just as a volunteer, I wanted to intern and really get my feet wet on the ground. Around 30% of the world's illiterate population live in India. So this is a huge, a huge number and the impetus from, from me to work together to be part of the change um, was really there when I first got to India and I knew that education was the way forward. So in 2006 I started Atma, which is a non-profit organisation that uh, works in India and focuses on education. We work in partnership with local organisations. Our focus is to work with organisations that have a great focus on changing the beneficiaries that they work with and we work by um, engaging with them, working on their sustainability and their capacity and helping them grow to reach out to more beneficiaries. Six years later, we're uh, at an amazing place in our history. We have over 20 organisations that we work with and we reach out to around 18,000 uh, beneficiaries in our schools and programs. My focus now is on Australia, so um, really building bridges between Australia and India. I run Atma Australia here, which is um, the, an international chapter of the Atma organisation. We're focused on raising funds and awareness and getting people to go over to India and volunteer. Um, since I've come back I've also started working with the Australian Indie Institute and my work's really around um, engaging young people to um, have meaningful engagement with India and undertake projects which let um, that sort of cross-cultural communication um, and skills be available to young people, particularly university students, so it's really full circle for me in a lot of ways. Alumni isn't, you know, the old men sitting around a, you know, <laughs> a bar smoking cigars and things like that, which I think is an image we have in our head. I think your alumni network you need to start using as soon as you graduate, and particularly those of us that want to work internationally, engaging with our alumni network um, wherever we are in the world is something that you really should seek out and do so that you can make those connections and make those career um, validations really quickly after you graduate.